Hey guys, Crypto Sniper. Just a post mortem, if you will, on the BCC uh, side of things. So the community was tracking that for a lot longer than you might have known. It was our big trade that we'd said for a while um, we'd do the better part of uh, a 3.5 to 4 possible plus uh, X on there. Um, what I wanted to show is the value of having a methodology and a target. This was actually the key moment when we were looking at it was already at its first interim here. It was a breakout from earlier when it, you could have got probably in for the last time before it was really going to go melt up, melt up, melt up. Uh, that was at the $600 level. But when you see uh, the bigger time frames, you'll realize that you should have actually been in in and around these levels from the 450 with your stop round about the 425 um, over here. Um, now, if you work on $25 for that, that 450 entry was with a target of 16, uh, my apologies, 1760. Uh, so in terms of potential return, 1760 from 450, you can see that you're looking at a $1,310 return for roughly a $25 uh, um, risk. So for those of you that like the idea of high reward to low risk trading, if you put your 1310 and you divide it by your $25, you can see that that's a 52.4 RRR risk reward. The other thing that we monetize and we value um, is short time to get there. We're the only traders that I know that does a risk reward ratio relative to a time frame. That means, in other words, we are expecting and looking for a highly expansive move in a short time frame. In other words, time on risk is reduced. So we want a really steep line. This was a model uh, HVF setup. We are all involved in doing the same thing consistently. This is an ideal trade in many senses because it was on a bigger time frame. Um, this was a little slighter, smaller setup. You often get subfractals of our methodology occurring. This was the one at the first interim. That was against Bitcoin. Um, here it was pausing and resting um, at the first interim. Note how you often get that dip and support in the funnel. You'll learn about that when you do a program if you qualify um, and the rally back up to the key area when Bitcoin stayed down. This was a key sign of strength and that of course was a funnel. Note there's that primer. We'll learn about that fractal there and you also got um, one at your first interim but the key part then is the subsequent very very steep move there you can see it starting to run you can see it moving to top of the pops at that point 52 percent up then it's in the shorter time frames you keep getting smaller hvf setups within that um, so some of the guys that actually were a little bit sleeping and a bit slow off the mark got chances to get in um, but most of them were already uh, well in and overweight um, there was some gratitude around around the guys are very excited obviously um, the smell of victory. Thank you. I turned 8 BTC into 30. Thanks to you. Well, that's always nice to hear. Uh, making a real dis uh, difference to folks' lives is a valuable thing. And it's a value add thing. And that's what I call ROI. Going from 8 Bitcoin to 30 Bitcoin. Um, you invest uh, to Bitcoin to learn how to turn 8 into 30. Is that a good investment? I don't know. I'll leave you to work on it. The guys say, wow the value of having a target here we were we were selling out over here into that wick this is a shooting star there's going to be some degree of pullback it ended up doing in a single five minute candle five hundred dollars from 2500 back down to 2000 i remember that i was watching it we stayed awake it was a nice uh, trade for us in the end what does that mean that occurred over here on the bitrex smash down it means the beginning of the end of the move you've gone melt up and then you get a strong pullback this is the shooting score broken down if you hadn't taken money off the table even though it's popping up nicely now at 12 uh, 25 you've actually left a lot on the table when it's traded as high as 2500 you wanted to get as close to that 2000 number as possible you should have been clearing 60% of your trade we had a first we have rules for that that's why you close 60% and the rest during that 2000 to 2500 melt up um, and this is something uniquely we do um, on these kind of setups in other words a partial close how do you do 
Did you get a 52.4 RRR? Did you turn your Bitcoin allocation from 8 to 30? What is that? Oh, four, five, four times, um, nearly four times. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that you did. And if you didn't, maybe it would be a great thing to be part of our community. Um, here we are. We are on um, WhatsApp, giving everybody the quick notifications of everything we're watching on. That's what the WhatsApp group likes. There's some gratitude. There's some charts. There's some happiness um, all working towards helping each other build wealth and transition from what you do currently to being a lifestyle trader if that is of interest to you you know what you should be doing we're watching and we already know what we're most excited about is our next potential trend and trade um, yet we're keeping ourselves balanced we're not getting giddy after a, a major move up in our personal bitcoin holdings um, we will select carefully and keep level-minded and apply the method this is the market sniper and the crypto sniper webpage where you can find out more about that pop over if you think it may suit you otherwise um, stay tuned on twitter we'll tell you all about what we've just uh, coming out of and you can uh, also see um, how we've been doing anyway that's it for me trade small trade safe and look forward to updating you further we've got an excellent potential follow-up trade as i've already mentioned um, and we are looking forward to getting into that as well